together just flashed before me. I saw you and I in this little house in the woods. And when you come home from work, I show you what I wrote. And we can write it together. I had hoped I'd find love and success in New York. I just didn't realize that it would be with the same person. So uh, what do you think of my vision? Pretty romantic, huh? You know, I wouldn't exactly call it a vision. It's more a line of a hallucination. You should wait just a little before you start having visions about people. Or at least until you find somebody who loves you. Oh no, that's the easy part. I don't care what the poets say. Love is no big deal. Anybody can love anybody if you open. I'll prove it to you. Who's your all-time favorite movie star? Richard Bardot. All right, who would you rather be right here, right now? Richard Bardot or me? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Richard Bardot. You can't have Richard Bardot. Now, who would you rather be here with? Wait a minute. Let me see if I got this one straight. Out of all the women in the world, that's my choice. You or you? I don't see anybody else in this room. Your logic is fascinating. Paul is this? Told with Blackson. You're gonna find out sooner or later. I'm a straight lacto vegetarian. It's the meat that's killing our men. You're sure it's not the woman who are cooking for them? Mm -hmm. oh, what'd you put in the coffee? I made it myself. Barley, chicory, shredded beetroot, figs, acorns, and wheat grass. I mean, you may not know this, but there are thousands of delicious gourmet vegetarian dishes that would just win you over. Unfortunately, I don't know any of them. I'm not as much into cooking as I would like to be because of my career. Are you? Are you? Am I, am I what? Into cooking. No, I can't cook much. I mean, better than this. Oh, this spaghetti food. We'll eat out a lot. I've really got to be going. I've got a lot of, I mean, all disoriented. I've got a lot of lessons and Christian shopping to do, and the stores are going to close. I have a feeling you're trying to skip out on us. What do you mean, us? Look, stop, stop grouping you and me together. This is a... I've had a wonderful evening tonight, but I've really got to be going. This is Work. a good sign you need to leave so strong. You're a real fruitcake, do you know that? You hit my fault, didn't you? It's a good sign because you're starting to feel for me. And it's scary. And that's why you want to run. You evidently have a fear of intimacy with women. It's called breast envy. There's no such thing. There's only penis envy, which is what I think you have and are trying to project onto me. Breast envy came way before penis envy. Way before. Read Melody Klein. They say Sigmund Freud is the father of psychoanalysis. Well, Melanie Klein is the mother. <laughs> and who are you, the cousin? Look, why don't you just tell me what kind of woman you're holding out for and I'll beat her. Is she thin-lipped or thin? I can give you either one. Does she have a big bust? I have a bust range of 22 to 44. I can give you paper. I can give you pencil. I can give you bubbly. You want a combination? I give you two thirds pensive and one third bubbly. Tell me your fantasy and you'll have it Tuesday. This isn't really my natural hair color. You mean your hair is not really black? Oh no, I'm much darker than this. <coughs> I'm a woman of a thousand different looks. Once I had a job as an intermission singer in a strip joint, and there were only two people on the bill this female impersonator and me. And when I came out and sang, embrace me, my sweet embraceable you, everybody thought I was impersonated. He was so gorgeous. I was like a dog next to him or her. Or, oh, are you in love with me yet? Uh, look, let me give you a little bit of advice. I mean, with me, it's okay because I have a show business background. But I wouldn't tell that particular story if you were trying to impress some other guy. Why? Well, isn't it funny? Well, in a way. But uh, it's not exactly a turn on to refer to yourself as a dog. Where, where are my pants? You look much cuter without them. Oh no, you put my suit 
in the freezer? What a thing to do to my favorite soup. It was just a joke. This is his kind of humor. 
worked. Well, the joke's over. It's Christmas Eve. I got a lot of things to do. So get over there and open that door. Climb out the window. Go over the roof. Whatever you have to do. The door is open. It was open all the time. You locked yourself in. You actually believe that I put a special lock put on my door just to trap you? And that I climb up on the roof and came down the ladder into my window? You actually believe that? And you call me a fruitcake? You know, I think I figured it out. Because things didn't go your way. To get even, you came up with this little game called Let's Get Meals Go. Right? Well, I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of seeing me lose my crew. I'm just going to leave quiet. The joke's over, the game's over. And guess who loses? You. I was hoping to stop you at Rezo or Hugo so I wouldn't have to use the gun. Gun? What gun? This gun in my pocket that looks like a finger. <laughs> I could get you to believe anything. You are one bona fide dummy. I don't know what it is I see in you. You're going to see the toe of my shoe if you don't move away from that door. All right. It's silly to leave now where it's snowing. Can you hear on the radio? There must be six inches out there. You don't have to get a can. Cow, where'd all the snow come from? You mean it is snowing? I got to use your phone. I was just making it up. But there's an actual blizzard out there. You're not going to be a bleed. It's a miracle. The whole universe wants me to win. You're a fan duck, you know. All right, listen. I tried to leave quiet without anyone to get hurt. No, you wouldn't let me. So I'm going to tell you something. I like you. I don't need you. I don't even want to know you. Tommy, you know Pignoli here. Yeah, I know it's snowing. I saw it. Hey, listen, I need a limousine right away. What? You don't have any? None? Nah. Never mind, I can't wait. 